Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you, O heavenly King, comforter, the spirit of truth, everywhere present, filling all things, treasury of good things, and giver of life. Come and dwell in us, and cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us, holy God. Holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge my malice and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done evil in your sight that you may be found just when you speak and overcome when you are judged. Behold, I was conceived in iniquity and in sins did my mother bear me. Behold, you love truth. You've shown me the secret and hidden things of your wisdom. Sprinkle me with hyssop and I shall be made clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear the sounds of joy and gladness that the afflicted bones may rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins and blot out my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. If you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You do not delight in whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A broken and humbled heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shall you be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar. O God, attend to helping me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them that seek my soul be ashamed and humiliated. Let them be turn back, shame that wish me evil. Let them turn back immediately in shame that say to me, hurrah, hurrah. Let all that seek you, God, exult and be glad because of you. And let them that love you or salvation say continually, the Lord be magnified. Poor am I in the labor. Oh, God, help me. You are my helper and my deliverer. Oh, Lord, do not delay. Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. For no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy has persecuted my soul. He has humbled my life to the ground. He has caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead. And my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remembered the days of old. I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, for my spirit faints within me. Do not turn your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. You will quicken me, O Lord, for your name's sake. In your righteousness you will bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you will destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all those who afflict my soul. For I am your servant. Glory in the highest to God. His peace is on earth. His good pleasure in mankind. We praise you. We bless you. We worship you. We glorify you. We give thanks to you for your great glory. 
Lord, King, Heavenly God, Father, Ruler over all, Lord, Only Begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and you, O Holy Spirit. Lord God, Lamb of God, O Son of the Father, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You who take away the sins of the world, accept our supplication. You that sit at the right hand of the Father and have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day I will bless you and will praise you, praise to eternity and forever and ever. Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, I have fled to you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light you shall see, we shall see light. Continue your mercy to those who know you. Grant, O Lord, that on this night we may be kept without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Your name is praised and glorified to the ages. Amen. Let your mercy be on us, O Lord, as we have set our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, give me to understand your statutes. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your statutes. O Lord, your mercy is forever. Despise not the work of your hands. To you is due praise, to you is due song, to you is due glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, Father of all, ruler of all, maker of heaven and earth and all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, coessential with the Father and through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnated by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and resurrected on the third day according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. It is truly me to call you blessed, O Theotokos, the ever-blessed and all-blameless one and the mother of our God, greater in honor than the cherubim and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word and are truly Theotokos. You do we magnify. My mouth shall I open wide and it will thus be with spirit filled. A word shall I then pour out unto the mother and queen. I will joyously attend the celebration and sing to her merrily, lauding her miracles. <laughs> Most holy Theotokos, save us. O maiden and virgin pure, the great archangel beholding you, the animate book of Christ, which by the Spirit was sealed, did exclaim to you, Rejoice, O joy's container, through whom shall the curse upon the primal mother be loosed? Most holy Theotokos, save us. Rejoice, virgin bride of God, the restoration of fallen man, the mortification of Hades, O oh, blameless one, and the palace of the only king and sovereign. Rejoice, fiery throne of the ruler of all. Rejoice. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, you the only one who budded forth the unfading rose. Rejoice, who have given birth unto the sweet apple tree of the king of all, the aromatic balsam. Rejoice, O oh, unwedded maid, the world's deliverance. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. O oh, treasure of chastity, rejoice, to you we have risen up. From out of our fall rejoice, sweet-smelling lily that sends forth its egg and scent. O lady to the faithful, aromatic incense and costly anointing oil. 
Establish your servants who extol you, O Mother of God, for they have formed a spiritual choir for you, the living and abundant found, and crowns of glory graciously in your divine glory grant to them. <laughs> Pneumaticon stereo son, Kenditia doxi su, Stefanon doxi saxio son. Most holy Theotokos save us, the land that has tillered the divine stock while clearly continuing until. Rejoice, O table animate that held the holy bread of life. Rejoice, O never empty found of living water, O blessed one. Most holy Theotokos, save us, the heifer that mothered for the faithful, the unblemished bullock, O rejoice, rejoice you that wean the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of all the world, O mercy seat, rejoice who fervently expiate. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the luminous morning that alone brings Christ, the Son of Righteousness, rejoice. O dwelling place of light, rejoice. Dispeller of the dark, rejoice. For you diminished utterly the darkened demons of Lucifer. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, only veritable, escape the only, the lowest that has come through. Rejoice, for in your giving birth, you shattered Hades' bars and gates. O Lord, it one rejoice, divine entrance of those who are being saved. He who sits in holy glory on the throne of divinity, on a swift and light cloud, Jesus has arrived, the surpassing God, and by the might of his undefiled hand has saved those who cry aloud, Glory, O Christ, to your power be. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Unto you, in thoughtful voices, do we loyally say, Rejoice. Mountain rich and curdled in the Holy Spirit, O Lord, it won. Rejoice, O seven branch lampstand and the golden jar. With the mana that sweetens the senses of pious foe. Most holy Theotoko, save us. O rejoice, untainted lady, mercy seat for the world, rejoice. Ladder elevating everyone from earth by an act of grace. Rejoice, O heavenly bridge that is conveying from death unto life in truth all those who chant hymns of praise to you. Most holy Theotoko, save us, more exalted than the heavens. O immaculate, made rejoice as the one who carried earth's foundation painlessly in your womb. Rejoice, O Murex, who died in your own virgin blood, the divine purple robe worn by the King of angelic hosts. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lady, truly you gave birth to the divine giver of the law who erases freely everybody's record of lawlessness. Incomprehensible depth and height unspeakable. O unwedded maid, rejoice through whom we are deified. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. We exalt you who have woven the unwoven by human hands crown of hope and glory for the world, O virgin, and say rejoice to you, the fortification and the citadel and protective wall and sacred refuge for everyone. Amazed was the universe by your divine magnificence, for while never consummating wedlock, 
You held, O Virgin, the God of all in your womb, and gave birth unto a timeless Son, who awards salvation to all who chant hymns of praise to you. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Rejoice, for you carried in your womb the way that leads to life. Bride of God, rejoice, O blameless maiden, who saved the world from the flood of sin. Rejoice, O inspiring message and report, habitation of the one who is Lord of creation all. Most holy Theotoko, save us. The might and the fortress of the human race, O spotless one. O rejoice, the holy place of glory. Slayer of Hades, the bridal chamber of light. Delight of the angels, O rejoice. Helper of the ones who pray to you faithfully, O rejoice. O holy Theotoko, save us. The fiery chariot of God, the Logos, O rejoice, Lady, living paradise, O garden, in which its center contains the tree of life, the Lord whose deliciousness gives life unto those who eat with faith, who were subject unto decay. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, your power enheartens us, we loyally cry out, rejoice to you, you the city of the great King, with, about which glorious and remarkable things perspicuously have been declared, O unquarried mountain and depth of faith, fathomable rejoice. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, O immaculate, the spacious dwelling of the word, oyster that produced the divine pearl. Rejoice, O lady, exceeding wonderful, reconciliation with the Lord, for all who be edify you, the mother, of God each day. Let us, possessed of a godly mind, observing this divine and all venerable feast in honor of the Theotokos, come clap our hands while glorifying God who was truly born of her. Leftetas giras protis omen, ton ex aptis tectenda theon doxas on death. Most holy Theotoko, save us, the undefiled chamber of the word, for all the cause of deification, O immaculate rejoice. The prophet's echoing prophecy, rejoice in the adornment of the apostles all. Most holy Theotokos, save us. From you has dripped the refreshing dew, undoing polytheism's fever, and we therefore say to you, rejoice the fleece that was wondrously be to the holy virgin which Gideon foresaw. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Behold, we cry unto you, rejoice. Become for us a harbor and anchorage, for we are tossed about upon the sea of adversities and of the many scandals of him who wars with us. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. O cause and reason for holy joy, cause Holy grace to shine on our reasoning that we may cry rejoice. O unconsumed bush and shining cloud that overshadows ceaselessly the believers all. Godly minded three did not adore created things in the Creator's stead, but bravely trampling upon the thread of the furnace fire chanted joyfully. O supremely praised and most exalted Lord and God of the fathers, you are blessed. Most holy Theotokos, 
save us. Bride, bride of God, rejoice, who carried in your womb the healer of the human race. Rejoice, O mystical rod, that blossomed the flower that will never wilt away. O lady, rejoice, through whom we are fulfilled with joy and inherit life eternal. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Insufficient is the tongue of any orator for him's extolling you who were exalted above. The seraphim having given birth to Christ the King, whom, O Lady, beseech to rescue now from every harm those who bow in faith before you. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The ends of the earth extol you and pronounce you blessed, and they cry out to you, Rejoice the tablet on which, O pure one, the word was by the Father's hand inscribed. Intercede with him, O Theotokos, to enroll in the book of life your servants. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. We, your servants, now beseech you, and we bend the knee of our heart to you. O pure one, lend us an ear, and save us, for we are drowning in adversities, and your city redeem, O Theotokos, from the hands of the infidel invaders. <laughs> Sinicumenina pasana yiripsa lusan, tungiri o nimni teta erga, ke peripsu te ispandas tu seonas. Most holy Theotoko, save us. You welcomed into your womb the Logos, you held in your arms the one who holds all things. With your milk you nourished him, who by a nod gives nourishment. O purest maiden unto the entire universe, to whom we sing, O praise, and supremely exalt the Lord, O all you his works unto the ages. The glorious mystery of your childbirth did Moses perceive within the burning bush. Children once in Babylon vividly prefigured this. For standing in the midst they remained unburned. O undefiled and O holy virgin, and therefore we extol you in hymns to the ages. Most holy Theotoko, save us. We who were left naked through beguilement have worn through your pregnancy the garment of incorruptibility. And now we who were sitting in the darkness of our errors now have contemplated the light, O dwelling place of light, holy damsel, and therefore we extol you in hymns unto the ages. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Disease have the quickened through your power, for pregnant were you with life hypostasized. They who once were speechless now speak with newfound eloquence. Diseases are exterminated, lepers purified. The legions of aerial spirits, O virgin, are defeated, and for you are man's salvation. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. O birth giver of the world's salvation, through you we are raised from earth unto the heights. Ever blessed maid, rejoice, fortress and protective veil. O pure one, the defense and fortification of all 
who sing the hymn, O oh, praise and supremely. Exalt the Lord, O oh, all you his works unto the ages. All you born on earth, with festival lamps in hand, in spirit leap for joy, heavenly intelligences of incorporeal angels celebrate. And honor thus the sacred feast of the Mother of God, crying loudly, O oh, rejoice, all blessed one, ever virgin and pure, who gave birth to God. Most holy Theotoko, save us, so that we may cry, Rejoice unto you through whom we faithful have become sharers of eternal joy. O oh, maiden, rescue us from temptations all, barbarian invasions, and from every other scourge, which are bound to follow on the multitude of transgressions committed by sinful man. Most holy Theotoko, save us, since you have appeared, our light and our surety, we therefore shout to you, O oh, unsetting star, rejoice, from which the great sun emerged unto the world. Rejoice, O oh, pure one, for you opened Eden, closed of old. O oh, rejoice, the fiery pillar ushering humankind out of bondage to life on high. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Come and let us stand reverently within the temple of our God and say, Mistress of the world, rejoice. Rejoice, O Mary, the lady of us all. Rejoice, for among women you alone are blameless and fair. Holy vessel, which accepted the divine inexhaustible ointment poured over you. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, pure and guileless dove, who brought forth the Lord of mercy as an olive branch, ever virgin, O oh, rejoice. The boast of every devout monastic saint, rejoice the crown of laurel, of the martyr athletes, rejoice. The divine adornment of the righteous all, and for us the believers' deliverance. Both now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Spare us, O our God, your very inheritance by overlooking now. All of our iniquities, O Christ, accepting for this the fervent prayers of her who without seed conceived on earth and carried you, who in your great mercy and your love for man will to take on the form that was not your own. Amen. Socratos apos To say to the Theotokos, rejoice. Angelos protostati suranothen epemphi, 
die bin din tel toko to chere. An angel of supreme rank was sent down from heaven to say to the tel tokos, rejoice, and perceiving you taking bodily form at the sound of bodiless voices, O Lord. He was astounded, and he stood shouting at her such salutations. Rejoice through whom is the joy to shine forth. Rejoice through whom is the curse to vanish. Rejoice, restoration of Adam, the fallen one. Rejoice, liberation of Eve from tears. Rejoice, high to which the thoughts of men are hardly able to ascend. Rejoice, steps which for angels' eyes is very hard to apprehend. Rejoice, for you are a throne for the king. Rejoice, for you hold the one who holds everything. Rejoice, the star causing the sun's manifestation. Rejoice, the womb of the divine incarnation. Rejoice, through whom is creation recreated? Rejoice by whom is the creator procreated? Rejoice, O oh unwedded bride. Rejoice, unwedded bride. Beholding herself holy, kept in chastity, boldly says to Gabriel, who, she who is holy, the exceptionable tidings of your voice seem difficult for me to accept. For what do you mean, pregnancy by unseated conception? Crying, Alleluia! to no knowledge that is noble to no one the virgin cried to the serving angel how is it possible for a son to be born of inviolate loins tell me please and he with fear replied to her albeit shouting thusly rejoice initiate of sacred counsel rejoice assurance of what calls for silence. Rejoice, introduction to the miracles of Christ. Rejoice, consummation of his articles of faith. Rejoice, heavenly ladder by which God himself descended. Rejoice, bridge that conveys unto heaven earth-born men. Rejoice, the wonder most renowned among angels rejoice the wound greatly be mourned by the demons rejoice who bear the light inexplicably rejoice who declare the manner to nobody rejoice transcending knowledge of scholars Rejoice, illumining minds of believers. Rejoice, O oh, unwedded bride. Rejoice, unwedded bride. Divine power of the Most High to affect her conception overshadowed the unwedded damsel, and it made her luxuriant womb to appear as a luscious field for everyone who desires to reap salvation while chanting, Alleluia! 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 
of her greeting at once and rejoiced in the womb and with leaps and bounds for songful sounds he shouted to the Theodotos rejoice the branch with its shoot unwithered rejoice the ranch with its fruit unblemished rejoice for the man loving husband man you cultivate rejoice for the gardener of your life you germinate, rejoice, arable land, yielding tender mercies hundredfold. Rejoice, banquet table, where upon his forgiveness overflowed. Rejoice for the meadow of delight you may flourish. Rejoice for a haven of our souls do you furnish. Rejoice, accepted incense of the intercession. Rejoice, the universe's expiation. Rejoice, the good pleasure of God to mortals. Rejoice, the confidence of mortals before God. Rejoice, O bride unwedded. Rejoice. Unwedded bride. Brought within the confusion, brought about by doubtful thoughts, the temperate Joseph was troubled as he looked upon you, the unwed and suspected adul adultery, O blameless one. But when he learned that your conception was by the Holy Spirit he uttered, Alleluia. 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 Oh, champion. your city now inscribe to you triumphant anthems as the tokens of my gratitude being rescued from the tempers oh in as much as you have power unassailable, from all kinds of perils free me so that unto you I may cry aloud. Rejoice, O unwedded bride. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son. Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, give us this, this day, day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as we, we forgive, forgive those, who those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us, us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Once you had taken the faith of Christ into your heart like a coat of mail, 
the hostile forces you trampled underfoot, having contended much, and you were crowned with heavenly laurels forever as one invincible. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. O Christ God, who at every time and hour in heaven and on earth are worshipped and glorified, a long-suffering, very merciful, very compassionate Lord, who love the righteous and have mercy on sinners, who call all to salvation through the promise of the good things to come, do also accept our prayers at this hour and direct our life to the way of your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our conceptual images, and deliver us from every tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with your holy angels that guarded and guided in their camp we may reach the unity of the faith and the knowledge of your unapproachable glory. For you are blessed to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Greater in honor than the cherubim and in glory, greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You who without corruption gave birth to God the word and are truly the Theotokos, you do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. May God be gracious unto us and bless us. May he shine his face, his countenance upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. <laughs> Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. O spotless, undefiled, incorrupt, immaculate, pure virgin, lady, bride of God, who by your extraordinary conceiving united God the Word to humanity and joined the outcast nature of our race to things in heaven. Only hope of the hopeless and the help of the beleaguered, then ready assistance of them that run to you and refuge of all Christians. Abhor me not, the abominable sinner who with depri depraved thoughts and words and acts have rendered myself altogether worthless and have willingly become a slave to the languor of the pleasures of this life, but rather as the mother of God who loves mankind in your own loving care for mankind, take pity on me, the sinner and prodigal, and accept this supplication of mine offered to you from sordid lips, and employing your motherly candor, entreat your son, our master and Lord, that he open his humane and benevolent heart to me, and that overlooking my innumerable faults, he convert me to repentance and make me a proficient worker of his commandments. And in as much as you are merciful, sympathetic and charitable, ever be with me in this life as a fervent protectress and helper, blocking the assaults of the adversaries and guiding me to salvation. And in the hour of my departure, escorting my wretched soul, driving far from it the dark visages of evil demons, while on that dread day of judgment, delivering me from eternal torment and making me an heir with the ineffable glory of your Son and our God. Which glory may I attain, O my Lady Most Holy Theotokos, to the med mediation and assistance by the grace and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, to whom is due all glory, honor, and worship, together with his eternal Father and his all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Grant us, Master, as we retire for sleep, rest of body and soul, and keep us from the murky slip, sleep of sin and from every dark pleasure of the night. Halt the drives of the passions, 
extinguish the fiery darts that the evil one cunningly throws at us, arrest the insurrection of our flesh, and still our every earthly and material way of thought. And grant us, O God, a wakeful mind, prudent thought, a watchful heart, and sleep that is light and free of any satanic fantasy. And arouse us at the hour of prayer, confirmed in your commandments, and holding in ourselves the unbroken memory of your judgments. Grant that we may sing your glory all the night long, and so hymn and bless and glorify your all-honored and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Most glorious, ever-virgin, blessed thou talk us, present our prayer to your Son and our God, and ask that through you he save our souls. My hope is the Father, my refuge is the Son, my shelter is the Holy Spirit. O Holy Trinity, glory to you. O Mother of God, I have committed every hope wholly unto you. Keep me under your shelter, that we may be accounted worthy of hearing the Holy Gospel. Let us entreat the Lord our God. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, o Lord, glory to you. The Lord said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch of mine that bears no fruit he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already made clean by the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, he is that bears much fruit. For apart from me you can do nothing. If a man does not abide in me, he is cast forth as a branch and withers, and the branches are gathered and thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you will, and it shall be done for you. Oh, oh, oh. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Master, give the blessing. Peace be with you all. Amen. And with your spirit. Bow our heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. Merciful Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, through the intercessions of our most pure Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, through the might of your precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable vitalist powers of heaven, of the, through the petitions of the honorable, glorious prophet, foreigner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and all lauded apostles, of the holy, glorious, and victorious martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of the holy, righteous, and God, and of all the saints, make our supplication acceptable to you. Amen. Grant the remission of our sins. Amen. Cast away from us every enemy and adversary. Amen. Make our life peaceful. Lord, have mercy on us and on your world, and save our souls as a good and loving God. Amen. Let us pray for the peace of the world. Lord of mercy. For all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord of mercy. For all the civil authorities and the welfare and strengthening of our armed forces. Lord of mercy. For our Father and Archbishop Nathaniel and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord of mercy. For our fathers and brethren absent from us. Lord have mercy. For those who serve and have ministered unto us. Lord have mercy. For those who hate and those who love us. Lord have mercy. For those who have requested our prayers unworthy though we may be. Lord have mercy. For the deliverance of captives. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, or air. Lord have mercy. And for those who lie in sickness. Lord have mercy. Let us also pray for the abundance of the fruits of the earth. Lord have mercy.
Let us also pray for the souls of all our fathers and brothers gone before us, the Orthodox, who here and everywhere repose in the Lord. Everlasting be their memory. Let us also say for ourselves the Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Mm, seeing the beauty of your virginity and how resplendently shone forth your chastity. Amazed was Gabriel who cried to you, the Sotheotokos. What shall I present to you as a worthy and commune? What shall I address you as at a loss and perplexed am I? As ordered, therefore, thus do I shout to you, Rejoice, O maiden, who are full of grace. Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Trinity, always bless and guide you. You may be seated. Now, at the end of the first week of Great and Holy Lent, we sing this beautiful poem, which is what the hymnology is, but especially the Gondakia and the Iki that we hear about the story of our salvation, all dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Now, as I've said before, and I'll say again, we Greeks are the only ones who do this service now. Everyone else, all the other Orthodox, do pre-sanctified liturgy, which is what normally is done on Friday evening. But we do this, A, to make sure that we have more time to celebrate the Annunciation, which always falls during Lent, and B, because we have a dedication to the Virgin. I'm not saying that other Orthodox don't, but we Greeks have a special dedication with the Virgin. And it's fascinating to look at our salvation from her point of view sometimes. As when the angel comes down and says to her, God wants this and this and this to happen. And she's flabbergasted. She's thinking, why me? Why am I special? She wasn't the only virgin. In fact, she was with a group of virgins. That's what she did at the temple. Why was she special? Why was she picked and no one else picked? God saw a reason. And he would not tell her. Even the angel could not explain to her why these things were happening. So instead, he says all these wonderful things, but never quite answers her question. But it's okay, because she was amazed that the angel was even there. And when she says, how can this be possible? I've known no man. How is it that I can conceive as a virgin? And the angel tells her, the might of, the, uh, of, of God will overshadow you and the spirit of the Most High will be with you and you will conceive and you will have a son. Can you imagine this? Can you imagine being this per the, the Virgin Mary at this point? As a 13-year-old engaged girl? Yes, 13-year-old in that time and 13-year-olds now are two totally different animals. By the time she would have been 15, she would have had at least two kids if she followed the normal course of life. Because she was dead, she would normally be dead about 30 is about when people died at the time. And now, 
my 16 and 18 year old couldn't fend for themselves out in the world right now. It's a difference, a difference in how they were. But nonetheless, she looks and says, how can this happen? I, 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 I don't understand how this can possibly happen. And think about what I have to go through to make this happen. Not only do I have to say yes, but then I have to live in a world where I could be punished by that for being pregnant outside of wedlock. And then what do I tell Joseph that I'm engaged to? Yet nonetheless, she looks at the angel and she sees the angel that is visibly frightened, according to the poetry and the hymnology, is visibly frightened having to come to her and speak to her. We see in scripture that there's a fundamental difference with Gabriel when he sees Zacharias and tells Zacharias about John. And when he comes to the virgin, Zacharias says, how can this possibly be? I'm an old man and she's old too. And he was struck dumb until, until John was born and was named. But when the virgin asks effectively the same thing, how can this be? He is scared to answer. He is scared because here is the apex of God's miracles, that God becomes man in her. That which can't be held by all of creation and by heaven itself is enclosed in her womb. It's just amazing when we look at her. And this series of poems that we hear throughout every Friday during Great Lent tells us more of our salvation, of the story of our salvation. And it's good for us to do this. And it's good for us to do this because it helps us down the path to Holy Week. See what God did for us and what our fellow man does for us in the person of the Virgin. The Virgin's honor isn't that she gave birth to God. Not that that's not an honor. But the Virgin's honor is she heard and did the will of God. That she said yes, and she did what God wanted her to do. That is her glory. That is the reason why we look at her for an example. Because none of us can ever be the, the Lord's mother. That happened once but we can all follow her example, especially now during this first week of Lent, as we are ready to celebrate tomorrow the, the feast day of the miracle of the Goliva of St. Theodore. As we remember those who have fallen asleep in the Drisayon that we have after, let us also then remember everything that was done for us and for our salvation and do a little bit more give a little bit more of our time and our talents. Help the world a little bit more. Not for the sake of the world, not because we're trying to make heaven on earth. That's not what we're trying to do. But so that we can turn all people and make them part of the same vine that we are attached to, as the gospel says. Without us being attached to the vine, we can do nothing. But if we are attached to it, we can do everything. I hope and pray that the Virgin's intercessions to her son and our God help us and guide us as hopefully we are nearing the end of this pandemic and may hopefully sometime soon go back to normal where we can all gather together in the house of the Lord and rejoice in each other's presence both in here and in there as we have our fellowship together, which is something that we dearly miss. Now, normally you would come up and venerate the icon. I ask that you do not. But if you want to come up to the foot of the stairs and make a bow, come one by one, don't make a line, and come up and do that. And then you can go and enjoy the day that the Lord, well, the evening that the Lord has made. Remember, tomorrow morning, Ortho starts at 8.30 and Divine Liturgy follows for the third Saturday of the Souls. 
And please remember, Sunday is the Sunday of Orthodoxy. Well, we will be processing. It's not going to be the same thing as we normally do. Bring an icon from home. If you have one, if you don't, first of all, you should buy one if you don't have one. You should have at least one icon in your home. Uh, but I will also have icons ready for people uh, so that you can hold up while we do the procession. Have a blessed evening.